guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to show you how I did this look plus two other looks, all with airbrush makeup. And I wanted to show people how anyone can use airbrush makeup. It's not just for professionals. And a lot of people think um, that airbrush makeup is really just for your weddings and maybe a major event. And actually it's something you can wear every day. And I wear airbrush makeup every day for a variety of reasons. The coverage, it's super light, it's super fast and it covers discoloration and uneven skin tone really easily. So today I'm using a brand called Tickle Pink Airbrush Makeup. They're out of Oregon. Their foundations are aloe juice infused. And so I found that really interesting. And so I wanted to do a couple different looks to show you how you could do like a day gym look to a work look to a glam look like this, which is one of my favorite looks. And so I'm gonna take you through a series of steps, how I build the product. And I just thought it was a really fun way to show you how you can not only build the makeup and go from nighttime to daytime, but use some really gorgeous product. Um, and you don't need a lot to do your face or to even do the coverage. Really, it's just getting hang of a gun. And every airbrush company sells the guns and equipment. Tickle Pink has their own setup, their guns and everything. And this is all water-based. So one reason why airbrush makeup is so great for just everyday people, everyday wear, is because it doesn't have a lot of heavy oil. So if you have oily skin or dry skin or combination skin or aging skin or just problem skin, the water-based foundations don't irritate the skin and so they also lie really nice and what's really great is if you use it with great skin care and this company happens to have skin care which pairs with the airbrush makeup the products don't uh, react with each other they actually complement each other so great makeup starts with great skin care and so I use face the day serum and their moisturizer and I'm looking at a couple other products I will link one of my videos where I go through their products and their brochure and so if you're looking for an option that's natural and lightweight uh, airbrush makeup is perfect for that so I'm actually going to show you how to airbrush makeup and what to do and how you can build colors to create these looks so um, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. And if you have comments or questions, feel free to put them down below. I answer all of them and I appreciate the support and I, I really appreciate you watching this video. So I will get started and stay here. Thanks.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video that I created all on how you can use airbrush makeup for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. I did these three looks thinking of what I do in my day-to-day, -day, uh, my gym look, to my everyday work look, to my high glam look. So I hope this inspired you, gave you some ideas, and be sure to check out Tickled Pink's airbrush makeup site. It's TicklePinkAirbrushMakeup.com. Uh, I'll list all the links down below and I'll list the colors that I use in the products if you did like any of the looks that you saw. And uh, be sure to leave me any questions or comments. I love the support and click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. It really helps me out when you follow my channel and interact on it and I appreciate the support. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Have a great day and bye-bye. Uh, Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video that I did on using airbrush makeup and using the product by Tickled Pink Airbrush. Um, I've been wearing around my glam look, testing it out and testing out the finishes. It's very dewy. Um, the white powder kind of that you tap in really helped um, kind of play with that light not that light, but that shiny and matte. And I love how I got a beautiful satin finish from using the foundations. And it was fun to use one like as a base color and then use another one for my day look to brighten and then use an even lighter one for my glam look to really pop. And that's a little trick I use in the camera. I will do a really lighter color in certain spots. And it's something that like even great actresses like Marilyn Lowe, her famous uh, makeup artist, did. So there's little things to do for camera and there's different things to do for like the gym or if it's just a regular work day. And so when you do the high glam looks, you take those extra steps. Um, I felt like the makeup was very dewy and so I liked the satiny finish. It was very different for me because I've been using a lot of matte lately and just using highlight to do a shimmer. But the dewy is really nice if you have um, problem skin or aging skin and you just want a fresh look so I love it for that and it's great when you compare it with a powder or some or a matte color even in your eyeshadow to kind of play with the two different finishes so I hope you picked that up through the video or you enjoyed seeing that if you if it came across well um, with the video and photos and things like that but um, if you have questions put them down below um, if there's anything else I can tell you about the products and the colors, they're very beautiful and muted. This isn't like a pigmented, uh, bright, wow, in your face collection, at least not for me on my skin tone. I really felt like it was very dreamy and romantic and the colors had a slight muted look to them. So you can kind of blend them in with each other. And, it, and I have right now, let's see, I have maroon, I have Queen of the Damned on, then I have a pink, then I did uh, a bit of the maroon underneath the eye with the pink. In the corners, I did moonbeam. Um, I did warm glow as my highlight. And my foundation right now, this is my high glam look. I had three different foundations, plus I did a little white mattifying powder just to even out parts. For me, I needed that. You may not need that. Some skins look uh, amazing with kind of this satiny dewy finish and other skins I think I just like having it used to being on camera so I like having it matted out and that's something you can do for the day if you have an oily skin and you're using this is water-based product so it is good for oily skin so um, but if you have oily skin you may need that little uh, mattifying effect where you use a little powder or you just use say a matte shadow versus a shimmers I knew guys that I worked with on the, the makeup counters and they had oily skin so they'd heighten it. So there's like you really have to play with what you have and use the products the way you want. So if they had oily skin they would heighten that, put, make it even glow or more glowy and they really like glowed from a distance. So it's really neat if you open your mind instead of fighting what you have is like using it and accentuating those, those kind of things that somebody else doesn't. I have more of a dry problem skin. I have a lot of discoloration that you may see in the beginning of the video. So I like to use the light yellow concealer foundation first. That was one of my favorites. I've been using it since I got it every day with all my airbrush foundations um, and I mix it up. And then I used mocha over top because I loved how I got this beautiful satin glow. And I may have used a little bit more than what some people do uh, because I have discoloration, but this really helped to counteract that and to cover it so I'm not working as hard with my foundation. And what you find is when you do those one or two little steps that you need to do for you, then you don't have to buy as much product and your foundation 
uh, lasts longer, which means your budget lasts longer, which means you have more money. You're not constantly buying products to replenish. So, you know, you're not using so much. I mean, I did use probably more, but then who knows? I mean, I just do what works for me. So, um, yeah, if, if you have questions about the Tickled Pink Airbrush Makeup um, colors and their products, um, it's aloe infused. Aloe infused juice. Let me get this straight. Let me get out of my mouth. <laughs> anyway, and um, you can go on their website. I'll put the link below. And I just wanted to have this little end part to talk about the makeup again, um, just because I don't know if maybe it came across in the video. So I wanted to just have some words where I told you all about my experience with the makeup um, and just kind of an after. <laughs> and after um, some afterthoughts I had on the product. And if you have questions, you can put them down below. I really recommend airbrush makeup period because I feel it's fast. It's half the time than regular makeup. It's not as messy. Your money goes a lot further because your product lasts longer. Um, I mean, you only need like a drop or two of your eye uh, stuff. You know, and there's so many things you can do with one color. And if you understand painting, you can just mix colors and foundations to get your color or to get colors no one else has. And so there's so much creativity in that. And for the girl who just wants to get to the gym and have a little cover up, or the woman who's working all the time who doesn't have time to think, you just get like the products that work for you, like one concealer and one foundation, and you're good to go. And you know, you have your mascara, maybe you do a little lip gloss. And I loved how they had lip stains. And so this one that I got was, I believe, raspberry. Ah, and that just, it comes either, you can put the pan in the case. It's actually magnetic. Don't mind me, I'm accident prone. Things just go flying around me. And it, it's magnetic, it goes in the case, and it has a little mirror. So that's really great. Um, I loved how they had little stains. It's super lightweight, very dewy once again. And once again, this, these beautiful kind of muted colors, not like stark pigments, like a lot of... Um, retro mattes and things like that that are popular. So I love kind of playing with this line and feeling it out and just creating kind of these dreamy colors. And like for my day look, um, I really loved using like, they had a, what was it called? The maroon. And so something like this, you could use this one color on your lid or even smoke out your eye or even just to use a little underneath the eye. And then you use like a little blush you have your concealer and your foundation. And this is just an extra step. Some people don't even need this. I need it for the discoloration and kind of acne and stuff. But that's like three products to do a full face, if you think about it. Um, my glam, my high glam face, I do all the little extras because I'm a makeup enthusiast. Um, so I do that. But for the day-to-day -day and for the gym look, it's super easy. And you, this is really great. If you go to the gym, yes, I wear makeup to the gym. <laughs> Everybody knows me there. Sometimes I go super lightweight with lashes. Sometimes I go full face because I've been doing videos. But what I love is that they have this waterproof sealant. And I actually tested it out. And I sprayed my face lightweight. And then I also did a heavier day like this. Yes, I was on the treadmill. And it didn't come off. And so I love that. Um, I always kind of never bothered with the sealers because I never thought, I thought, oh, whatever, it's for weddings. But really, it's great for day to day. Like if I know I'm going to have a long day where I'm working from 5 a.m. till night, shooting, editing, and even doing videos and stuff, then I know that I could put this on. I don't have to look at my makeup. I might just do a little touch up with a stain. And so that's really nice. And so I, I think it's worth it to take a look at their line. Um, yeah, so this waterproof sealant is great if you're outside or if you're working out and you want that coverage. Um, not all of us want to go to the gym and have absolutely no makeup or nothing. I mean, it's not like I'm hiding anything, but I want to cover up acne and discoloration. I want to feel good when I'm working out. It's the one place where there's a mirror everywhere, everywhere. So I think my battery is going to die. So <laughs> I think I'll stop. But anyway, I have links below, colors listed, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe because it helps me out. Click the bell for notifications on my latest video. And thank you, Tickle Pink. They sent me one or two items. And then, of course, I went and purchased a bunch of others because makeup enthusiasts, you just can't resist. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great time and enjoyed this video. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.